So this question is a diagram question. I say that because of the visual input that's provided here by the question itself. So let's read the question and then like kind of the first rules for diagram is to make sure we're labeling the question with any information that we know along with any information that we are provided. So looking at this diagram, there's nothing that I truly know immediately. So let's start reading and then filling in any, any symbols or information onto the diagram as we read. So the question says in the figure shown, A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Okay, so I'm gonna add in these parallel symbols because a parallelogram has side, opposite sides parallel. And E, B, F, D is a square. Okay, so that means that this side is congruent to that side, which is congruent to this side, right? Because all four sides of a square are congruent and have 90 degree angles. The area of A, B, C, D is 112 square meters. So the area for a parallelogram is base times height. Our base is from A to D, so I'll just call it A, D. And then our height, which is B, E, basically. Um, so I'll just say A, a D, so line segment A, D, times line segment B, E, is equal to 112 square meters. And the area of E, B, F, D, the square in the middle is 64. So that is useful because I know that I find the area of a square by multiplying base times height or side times side, however you want to think of it, all the sides are equal, so it doesn't really matter. So I know that if the area here is 64, that means that each of these sides must be eight, right? Because again, side times side or base times height will be eight times eight. So now I know that BE is eight, right? So I could go on and find AD if I wanted to, but let's just, let's just see exactly what this question is asking us for. What is the length in meters of line segment AE? So what is this length here? So in fact, what I will do is I will figure out what the entire length of AD is, subtract eight from that, right? We know what the length of ED is, and what I should be left with is this AE that's here. So I'm going to write this as 8x, so I'm replacing AD with x. 8x equals 112. I'm dividing both sides by 8. And this is a non-calculator section, so I'm going to just do this by hand. 8 goes into 11 once. That becomes 8. 11 minus 8 is 3. Bring down the 2 to make 32. 8 times 4 is 32. And therefore, x is equal to 14, which means that AD, right, this entire length is 14. So if the entire length is 14 and ED is 8, that means AE must be 6 because 14 minus 8 equals 6. And therefore, the answer is choice A.